of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Welcome to SCTV News for Monday, September 11th. I'm Jacob Saya. And I'm Jaden Rojas. It is a somber day as Steel Canyon joins the rest of the nation on the 22nd anniversary of the September 11th attacks. SCTV spoke to staff members at Still about their memories of that day and how it has changed the course of history. The alarm clock, which was a radio alarm clock, woke me up with news that a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center. And I remember thinking back in the 70s, a private small propeller plane crashed into the Empire State Building and that's kind of what I was thinking that it was an accident and I got up and got ready and drove to work and got here and other teachers uh, here at Steel Canyon were saying did you hear what happened and then we were kind of listening to what was going on and looking on the internet to see what was going on and found out that it was an attack and there have been two planes in the World Trade Center. Class was starting soon after that and at the time we didn't have the ability to do television in the classroom so I actually turned the radio on again and we were listening to it on the radio and hearing what was happening and students were full of questions and trying in real time to make as much sense of it as, as we could on what was a pretty scary day. Well, I was actually still in the news business. I was at NBC 739 downtown and Tuesday, it happened on a Tuesday, that was actually my day off. I was not in that day. So I was still asleep after uh, the planes had hit the towers and I remember turning on the news and seeing the smoke and fire coming out of the towers and you know, immediately I got on the phone and I called the station. I was like, you guys, listen, do you need me to come in? I can help uh, in any way you guys need. And the person working the desk that day literally said, we're, we can't really do much from San Diego. We're taking the national feed. Uh, we don't need you to come in. So uh, I was not needed at the news station. And I stayed home and literally just watched TV all day. I was seven years old at the time. I remember playing a game with my sister in the second story of our house and the news was on and I remember my mom crying and so we went downstairs to see what was happening and I think it was hard to grasp completely being a seven year old emotionally. Um, it took me a couple of days kind of going through school and hearing adults talk about it, hearing teachers talk about it. And then I think when I started to see more and more of the news footage and seeing how it was affecting people and how it was so traumatic for so many people in America, I think that's when emotionally I started to understand it a little bit more. The before and after 9-11 really has more to do with the fact that terrorism was something that now could come to our shores that we weren't used to. All of our wars were always overseas, you know, World War I, World War II, and so that was kind of a new way of thinking about it and I think has caused Americans to see that we are part of a larger system and it, I think it helps us pay attention to what those uh, other things going on that could impact us. I do remember being in downtown San Diego going into work and stopping and looking up and there's a you know 25 story building we worked in the uh, skyscraper in San Diego and uh, I remember looking up and literally for a moment staring at the building and just saying is an airplane about to crash into this? Is, is it about to happen here? And I think that's the biggest thing that I remember from that time was fear. People were just afraid. They were afraid to travel. They were afraid to be in public places. They, there was a lot of fear. And, um, you know, that was one of the things that changed after 9-11 was just people started worrying about things they never used to think about before, um, whether it be the airport security or whether it be, um, you know, being in a soccer stadium and having 75,000 people in the same place. Uh, before then, you never would even think about something like that. I think this generation graphs can grasp it from an academic standpoint, but not from an emotional one. Uh, for me, my parents, when John F. Kennedy was shot, they would talk about what an impact that was emotionally, and of course, Pearl Harbor. And so I think what we're talking about, those of us who were alive and working and, and thinking at that time, tend to think about the emotional impact of it. But I certainly think my students understand that idea of the academic impact and the importance of that in terms of changing our role in the world. In honor of the 9-11 anniversary, the Cougar Girls Volleyball Team is hosting a fundraiser for an organization that helps military veterans and first responders. Proceeds from tonight's game will go to the Gary's Sinise Foundation. Not only will you get to see a pair of exciting volleyball games, but we will have barbecue dinners for sale, as well as a silent auction and giveaways. Tickets are just $5. The JV game is at 4.30, 
and the varsity game is at 6. We hope to fill the gym tonight. Academic League season is starting and you're invited to join the team. Academic League is a sport in which students compete against other schools to answer questions based on high school level curriculum in all subjects. Competitions are on Wednesdays after school and students practice a few times a week. There's an informational meeting today at lunch in room K116 with the coaches Ms. Loperell and Ms. Cas Petrus. Hope to see you there. Girls Volleyball is home today against Chula Vista Academy, JV at 4.30 and Varsity at 6. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great week. Rah, rah, Cougars. Cougar pride. Get, Get some. some.